What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Magnus, the Cleansing Flame, who is currently in uh, in two wars, but it's basically just one big war against the Sue Minusco of uh, northern, I guess, Finland, Lapland sort of thing. And uh, yeah, uh, I have decided to actually split up my troops here. We're taking massive amounts of attrition, so that needs to change. So Duke Winston of Jorwick, uh, he's going to besiege this province. Meanwhile, the Duke... Uh, Duke Magnus uh, of East Anglia is going to besiege Cole. I hope that we'll have enough troops to do this. Yeah, actually, we might not. This is this is almost impossible. How do they have such a huge garrison? That's insane. Um, so, yeah, the attrition is deadly. Um, we'll have to see what we can do. I do have a lot of money, so maybe hiring a couple of mercenaries might be, a th might be a, the way to go. Uh, they're very expensive, though. Maybe something I can actually afford. Maybe something I can actually afford. 15, the Swiss band. That's 2,000 men. The Finnish band. I could hire the Finnish band. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Let's hire the Finnish band. Uh, this, those are 2,000 men, and they will help us siege. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. Yeah, we'll have them move here. You know what? Let's actually just move this way so you don't take as much attrition. Okay, moving on forward. And... Oh, look at this! Oh! I know we had our differences, but it pleases me to hear you have decided to join our rightful cause. I have made the preparations to recant your excommunication. Oh, interesting. Well, thank you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're no longer excommunicated. It was rather strange, I gotta be honest. So, maybe it was our good friend, uh, you know what, A good friend, the Cardinal, who is, uh, you know, he's the Preferatus. He may have actually sent, sent in a good word for us. He is, uh, I think it was him. He convinced our rival that this is ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, I'm glad that he has seen the error of his ways. For now, we can uh, go for the marriage between Gudrun. Wait, didn't I already? Yeah, hold on. Let's just keep this pop-up open for now because I already send it um, but yeah so more people are joining in there's nothing I can really do about that um, okay many things are happening right now apparently but okay the good news is we're no longer excommunicated I receive a letter from Duke Skofte Vriken our designated regent and uh, cousin uh, with a well-detailed approval of my decision to join the upcoming crusade maybe this is a chance to get closer as we fight the heathens together and we're becoming close friends oh that's so cool i love that actually i love that because that really makes sense we've made him a duke uh he's he's we've made him a very powerful man he's actually currently a heir to the king of norway as well um but yeah this is this is so cool i love that we're friends now now my wish to become a better catholic has led me to the rule of okay yeah we've had this since i joined the american order i have practiced charity we're now becoming charitable all right well, I guess that's quite a change from being greedy. Anyway, okay, we've lost a lot of men there. Oh, come on, Pope Leo, what is going on? Make up your stupid mind. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. All right, he's, he's got to be assassinated. He's, he's got to be assassinated. Holy balls. 6,000 men. Are you kidding me? How am I, how am I supposed to fight 6,000 men? Donato's Admult has contacted me asking me if I have any interest in learning more about roses. Uh, you know what? Mm. This is kind of a waste of time right now. I'm sorry, but right now, no. Okay, there's another faction here. Mm hmm. Alright. And there... Oh, man, okay. All things are happening at once, it, it appears. We have just finished our book, I guess. My lord begins a note from my chancellor. The writing of your manuscript has come to a halt. Our elder scholar and most experienced scribe has passed away. Uh, fine, we'll fund it. Sure, why not? Um, I'm just a bit worried about these 6,000 men here. Now, good blessings upon thee. Bringing the true faith and salvation to others is among the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask you to construct a new church. Uh, 
you know what? Right now, I'm a little bit short on cash. I, okay, I'll accept it, but I can't be doing it immediately. I kind of need to, need to see. Also, let's check out the crusade again. And see if we can contribute to the war chest. How much gold should I donate to the crusade? 300. Uh, okay, we're not going to donate anything just now. Because once again, we've been excommunicated, so it's kind of annoying. But yeah, okay. Let, for, for now, let's just leave it at that. And let's see what happens. I need to win this war. Okay, we'll stay here. And hope that the Finnish band is going to be able to, uh, to withstand the onslaught. Likely not. But we finished the siege of Kemi tribe. And let's move on and siege more. Hey, we're 100% actually. Never mind. Let's peace out in this case. Very good. Alright, so that holy war has ended. We've been successful. There are some extra troops. Oh, very good. Alright, so we'll send you here. And we'll send you on here. And... Yeah, I need to give out some lands. These are tribal holdings. Why can I not do this? I cannot... Uh, hmm. This is weird. Not quite sure what what this means. Can I do it now? Why can I not... It, it doesn't show me why I can't build it. I would love to build a temple here. Because that's my mission anyways. So that's weird that I can't do that. Anyway, let's make our way here. And see how this goes. Okay, your alliance has broken down. That's good news. So we should be able to take you on later. As well. Okay, I have wrong government type. Yeah, well, no shit. But I can't do anything about it. Hmm. Well, anyways, we've won another siege. Captured someone. No, we haven't actually won another siege. We've captured somebody. Some prisoner. A Buddhist human. Okay. Hmm. Don't really know what to do with him right now. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. This siege was successful. So let's... Uh, let's just stay here for now, I guess. And... Let's actually... Yeah, turn around, maybe attack these troops. Well, let's go here. Let's have our mercenaries fight. I hired them. For good reason. Okay. And then... You guys can actually move out. You can move out as well. Okay, I think we've got this under control now. Even though our mercenaries are likely going to be defeated. And oh my god, we are becoming infirm. That's so bad. We haven't actually yet... Oh man, Hakon is not of age yet. He's been voted as King of England, apparently. That is good. Oh, look at this. Because of the Duke of Hwais. <laughs> or however you pronounce it. Alright, well that's good. But being infirm, not so good. Okay, well that means we definitely can't be leading troops anymore. And... We don't really have... Well, creating a treasury, I guess, is an ambition. Uh, but yeah. I didn't credit it when my man seventh claimed to have heard that Countess Mariah twists and turns at night at the grip of passionate dreams, crying out my name. But now my friends are saying it too. How flattering. Uh, Yeah, I guess. We'll encourage this. We're infirm, but might as well have some sex. Sure. Uh, anyway, our mercenaries are being crushed. Uh, which is fine. You stay here. We're getting some reinforcements in as well. I've always been better at talking through my pen. Maybe the best way to show my good intentions towards Duchess Dogma is to dedicate a poem. I'm not sure if we can really do this. Write about how fair she is. That might be an insult, actually. About her deeds? About her realm. Okay, I'm not inspired at all. In fact, I think we're not capable of swaying her anymore, which is... Not in the position. So, yeah, I will just leave it there. Once we've sieged this, though, we should be fine. 
Now, why can I not build this? Maybe because I'm at war? I don't know. Anyway, an informal event. This minor event would be a dull affair, but Countess Mariah of Headmark just brushed her bosom against me again. Uh, say something clever. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely want to go for this. Yeah, have this young 18-year-old. Sure, sure. I'll take her. Why not? Um, Sweet temptation. Have a memorable night. Yes, of course. We'll have a memorable night. Why not? Okay, so our troops are being crushed here. Oh my goodness. And this is annoying. Why do they have so many men all of a sudden? Oh, they've got 6,000 men all bunched up. I hope they're taking some attrition as well. But I think once we've taken this, though, we should be fine, regardless. Uh, my son is having dysentery. Call for the court physician. But please, can we siege this? I might just storm the tribal holding. Ah, oh, no. Bjorn died, and now you. What do you want? Now we have a rebellion. <laughs> well, I will not be blackmailed. That's for sure. So there is the rebellion. Mm-hmm. But we have won the war. Okay, let's send the peace offer here. And yeah, just in time. Let's get our troops all together. Back to the capital. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this sucks. I don't think I can do anything here while I am at war. So I have all of these holdings that I don't know what to do with. Um, you know what I will do? I will promote a commander. Because there's... I don't have any friends or anything, right? I can't... Actually, I could invite you to court. Um... He's no longer heir to the papacy. You know what? I will invite you to court. You're a cardinal. You are a cardinal, right? I don't know what happens if I give him lands. If I can. I can. Uh. I can grant him lands. I don't know what happens if I do this. But here's my friend. Does he lose his cardinal position? I actually don't know. Uh. Okay, let me see. I can create... Poof. This is so weird. This is all tribal land. I have no freaking clue what to do with this right now. But I need to give it up because we're so desperately over our domain. Um, yeah. Well, for now, I've got my friend at court. I really don't... Like, what happens if I give him land? Is he going to lose his cardinal position? That would be absolutely terrible. Alright, you know what I might rather do? Promote a commander. Aina of Lombard. And... Yeah, let's create... Duchy of Kola. And... I guess I'm just... I'm, I mean... I mean, he, currently he's not the uh, heir anyways. You know what? Hold on. I'll just grant these lands to you. Uh, so these two I'll give to the commander that have just brought to my court. I'll give you Kola and Ravanivi, or whatever it's called. There you go. And then... My good friend. 
So why can't I not do this? You're unhappy about that. Why? <sighs> Fucking hell. What if I give it to him? Come on, why would you do this? They have no... Ugh, man, what is your problem right now? Oh, I fucking hate this. Why are you upset? <sighs> Alright, this, this is bullshit. This is definitely bullshit. Um... I was able to just, I, I, ju I was just able to grant him all of these lands. Now, all of a sudden, I can't. Uh. He can hold them, though. I, well, I can't, it doesn't help. I have to do it. Um, we'll be seen as tyrannical. Well, fuck you. You know, fuck you. Unless I can buy someone's favor. Come on. How much is it? Request council support. Buying a favor would be 200 gold. It's pretty expensive. <sighs> you know what? Fine. I'll just request council support. Let's do it like this. Let's see what he says. Let's just say yo uh, yes, please. Um, okay, he will support us in the council. Another morning when I wake up, feeling as tired as when I went to bed. I should do something about my listless mind. Uh, I don't think we're going to be hiding right now. I think we'll get over it eventually. Um, so, you know what? I'll just give all of these lands to you. I, I feel weird giving this to a cardinal. If I had a, like a, a church holding... I would do it, but since I don't, I'm not. Include the lower titles as well. Okay. So you hold all of this. Uh, yeah, congratulations. And now, please raise some men. <laughs> we can't. Okay, so. That is that. We're still over our domain limit, but there's nothing I can really do about that. I've got my friend home. Uh, well, my friend at my court now, which is nice, but... Yeah, I, I'd rather have him as uh, as, uh, as as Pope. But no one's voting for him anymore. Is he no longer Cardinal? Oh, he's no longer Cardinal. Oh, he's still a Cardinal. This is so weird. I make him Halamana anyway, but he he doesn't appear. Am I just blind? He is no longer a cardinal. So this is kind of messed up, I think. He should be a cardinal, but he's not on here. This is so weird. Uh, I'm not sure. I may have broken it or something. I don't I don't know. But what I do know is that we need to... Okay. They want... I don't know who they... They want someone else on the throne. Our nephew. Uh, Sigurik of Dorset. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. How many men do I have? 2,800. That's not enough. Okay, and there's another dangerous faction. Duke Skofta for Norway. Oof, man. The great conversion of Sumi was a success. Um, man. 
I'll give him money, but I really don't have it right now. I need it for other things, really. Anyway, get you together, get you to the capital, and then we'll see what we what, what it can do. They've got 7,600 men. King Magnus accepted a call to arms from Pope Leo, opposing... And now the crusade started. Oh my god, this is such a bad timing. This is such a bad timing. Due to having pledged to join the crusade, King Magnus had no other choice. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal veterans and warriors adven various adventurers to make their way to San Mora for the muster. Okay, so we gained a few extra troops. That's good, but that's not going to be enough. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares a crusade for Jerusalem. It was once part of the core Christian lands, and lords from all across the world gathers to fight for it in a grand war once more. The Jerusalemite... Jerusalemite... Oh, anyway. The lands of Jerusalem has long been under the tyrannic rule of the Mohammedan infidel Caliph Al-Majid II. With the upcoming Christian onslaught, it is only a matter of time before he will fall. God will grant remission of sin to everyone partaking in the righteous war. Deus Wald. Okay, well, I would love to join, but we kind of have, like, an interior problem right now that we need to deal with. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes in the next episode. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.